Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on the Hunter, Call of the Wild. I'm at Silveridge Peaks and I'm carrying on with my Great One Black Bear grind. Now, I've just spotted a level 5 bison, so hopefully we can find him. That's one of the good things I've found from getting herd animals, slaughtering them, and every now and again you get some nice diamonds off them, as you've seen in the last video. So I've been slaughtering herds of bison, but I did spot a level 5 over here somewhere. Now I'm not sure if he drinks at this lake or the little pond on my right, but that's where he is. We just passed his sort of drink zone time, so what we're going to do is, if I can get him here, or I can't get him here, what I'll do is I'll fast travel back and just change the time to his drink zone time. But uh, more of a little bonus while I'm going for the bears. Bears are going well. I've had one diamond respawn up to yet. I'm getting close to 200 bears in, so it's going well. How's your great one grind going? Are you after the black bear? Are you after the red deer, the white tail? With Ribbon to the Coast, lots of people will be on there as well hunting and it's ideal for a white tail. Especially up the top north end, there's a lot of uh, small ponds areas where you can absolutely hammer them. I've had quite a few diamonds off there myself while I've been jumping in between Silverbridge Peaks. I've sort of been doing Silverbridge Peaks, back to Ribbon Tooley, Silverbridge Peaks, cutting up the videos. Yesterday I rebuilt my PC totally. Um, so I was out of action yesterday for most of it, but I've done it back on. I'm on Windows 11 now, which I don't normally use as well. I'm normally on Windows 10, so it's all going well, and we're just making our first video since I've rebuilt my PC. So this is where we are. Now up here, I need to get rid of this hunting pressure, so I do need to slaughter some animals, get this gone so I can start again and do my grind from start to finish i do like five or six lakes i've been going down these little bottom small lakes though and i've been finding a lot of bear there so make sure you experiment try different things and you never know what might work out for you but the hunting's been good how's your revenue to the coast going let me know what you've had i've i've been inundated with people in the comments saying this is one of the best updates for color wild ever and uh, i agree we've had so much content oh, nice little mythical black bear We'll take him while we're here. They do have an earlier drink zone time. It's only for like an hour, but uh, definitely worth uh, taking him out. You never know, he might respawn as a legendary or, you n <laughs> fingers crossed, it could be a great one, Black Bear. I've seen quite a few of them now. There's been pictures in the Fabled channel, stick it on Discord, and some of them look absolutely amazing. Now, I know some people's like, oh, it's a bear, it's a Black Bear. And you only seen that first one, that creamy coloured one. Well, now we know there's numerous variations and some of them are absolutely stunning. And then when everyone started seeing those new pictures of the other great ones, we don't know how many different variations is for the Black Bear great one. Everyone was like, that's it, I'm Black Bear grinding, Black Bear grinding. <laughs> so everyone's out there grinding now, having fun. But uh, I'm on 20 bears. Uh, on this one, I'm going to swap it over and see how many we get. But about 20 to 30 is what I'm averaging on a run. It takes about 30 minutes. So that's not bad, really. Over like six or seven lakes in total. Um, if I've got hunting pressure and I'm not slaughtering a herd or something, what I do is I just go to a different lake, which I wouldn't normally go to, and just see if there's anything there. And sometimes what happens is, because hunting pressure took the other lakes, they get dumped on a lake. So you can go, there's a tiny one down the bottom, and it, it, honestly, it's, uh, you could run around it in like 30 seconds. But sometimes I've seen 20 bear there, so I go there when that's clear, and then just slaughter them, and then back to the normal route. So, um, yeah, I switch it up and just see, experiment. And like I say, well, what I said was, in the guide when I made it, that'll probably change over the next few months, because as we adapt, find out, better how grinding works with black bear um, I'll adjust it tweak it so we get it absolutely perfect but there we go nice little bonus there not too far for diamond really but quite a big black bear I was just showing uh, LC um, one in the uh, discord and he was saying about how good the black bear looks now the black variation on the fur and um, I think what we'll do is I'll swap the time come back to this lake to get this bison now I thought he was going to be at this pond there the little one but he isn't but I don't think he's with this group I think he's a loner but I've killed two level 5 bison while I've been slaughtering herds if you want to know when to come for these bison right go about 10 in the morning down the bottom right 
there were so many herds in the forest and in the meadows like and um, they start to rest for a long time and you can take out 20 or 30 in a group and sometimes it's two or three groups together so if you want to get rid of hunting pressure it's a really good way also um mountain goats at drinking time right in the middle of the lake there's a lot there go high up shoot down on them slaughter them pronghorns as well as you can see groups of those and mountain lions around sun sisters and the mountain lion lakes they're good as well because you can shoot at them and they don't really go anywhere quite dumb just kill them but there he is so he's come from that back forest so that's where he must have another rest zone or something like that feeding so i wondered where he's coming from now we can get him so i'm going to 338 him hopefully he makes diamond like i say the last two were trolls so is he going to be a troll I wouldn't be surprised they do troll quite a bit they're not quite gems bot troll level they're like the masters but we'll see is that good yeah there we go he's self dropping so that's a single lung hopefully he makes diamond where are you doing your grinding for the black bears you're on silverish peaks like me or you're on leighton uh, i went to leighton lakes the other day right and it's the first time i checked it out so i was checking it out for whitetail to see about zones and if they changed and groupings and stuff and my my leighton lakes is literally barren i'm not even joking um I, i've seen a handful of group of whitetail so uh it's definitely changed a little bit well mine has especially but uh yeah i didn't see much at all really to be honest but i had a quick look I've got to check all the other reserves out and there's a lot to do in the next few months, so many guys to make because a lot of them have been changed, tweaked. From Rancho I had a little run round, I didn't go full in depth on it, every lake location, but I was checking Whitetail on there and uh, they seem not too bad actually, drinking time very similar and that is a troll again, I can't believe it. <laughs> Trolling Bison! Hopefully we'll get a good respawn. You never know. So third troll level five planes bison <laughs> in a few days. Maybe the next one will make diamond. You never know. It might be a albino super rare one. <laughs> All right, now we've got him. We can move on back to the black bear grind. So what I do is I hunt from four to eight on black bear. Then when I've done my run, I swap to seven. Go sun sisters. Kill animals there. Then check bottom right corner, about 10 for Plains Bison, and slaughter them. If my hunting pressure is gone, back to the start Wild Turkey Outpost and change the time till 4 o'clock again. That's what I basically do. But as you can see, I've absolutely decimated that top right lake there again. And uh, this is all clear, but we've got a lot of bear here, so we're going to see what we've got now. The previous run, there wasn't many here at all, so I think basically because I'd wiped them out, um, they'd just not be spawned back yet. But as you can see, there's a lot here, and there's a mountain line back. Right, so we've got four, a six, and a legendary. We'll have that. <laughs> so we've got a few males in there. There's that three, four males, I think it is, and a legendary. So. What I'm going to do is, because he's head on with his head down, I don't really want to shoot over. Normally, if the broadside, I wouldn't even think twice about it. But when they're like head on like that, now nah, it's a bit risky. So we'll go round to the left, try and creep round and get a broadside shot on him. What I mainly do is I use a 308 on smaller bears, just hammer them, make sure they're dead. I don't really care, to be honest, too much about um, where you hit him. Uh, on respawns because you just want them dead and you can collect them really but trophy animals like this legendary black bear take my time make sure i'm going to get it and use a 338 these damn mountain lions <laughs> we've not had any good ones respawn back here yet but we did have a diamond mountain lion chasing a diamond bear at this lake and a rocky mountain elk a diamond one check that video out if you've already seen it but hopefully we've got our second diamond black bear now i'm at nearly 200 black bears i've been collecting every one of them so some people will shoot them and won't collect and some people will collect them but i've collected every bear i've shot up to yet and like i say i'm about 200 in now so it's not been too bad and a lot of fun i think the good thing about doing the slaughter method is you get a little break 
from hunting black bear in between and then you do get bonus diamonds eventually from slaughtering big herd animals so it sort of breaks it up as well so it's, it's going all right i'm not ground out yet <laughs> i am used to it though i've done quite a lot of grinding so it's just normal to me that's the key to it make it fun and you won't get bored you won't get fed up while you're doing your grinding and don't just expect it to be a certain number just plod along get your own routine every time you get a diamond just think of it as like you're a step closer and um, maybe you'll get the great one on the next respawn you never know and uh, that's how you look at it like i was saying rebuilt my whole pc yesterday reinstalled everything from scratch so i was hoping to get a video out today and uh, i'm glad i've uh, found something nice to show you we also a good way to test it test the pc out see how it's doing so it's just started to move so I'm not going to shoot with that we use a 338 not a hard shot but that's because we've done the threat took our time and not got the quickening so there we go should be another diamond black bear hopefully just shoot one more male with a 308 he's gonna die I'm shooting males and females there's been a bit of talk about this my thinking on this is when you kill females and males normally if you kill a male for the other great ones for example you get a male respawn back you kill females you get females so you don't really you know what I mean it's a male so you think don't shoot females because you're not going to get any benefit from it but the thing is my thinking is this if I'm shooting females as well sometimes I think the game will try and balance it up how many like sort of animals there's on the map at one time so I think sometimes when you kill a few females you might actually get a couple of males come back um, because it doesn't balance it exactly so it might work and I'm just trying it out it's an experiment if it doesn't work later on I'll just change it and go back to males again but is it a diamond it is yes and it's quite a way over as well so there you go so that's a second diamond black bear of the grind it's going well 200 black bear in I'm Ron McTree, hope you enjoyed the video, we've been grinding for the great one Black Bear, having a lot of fun, hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channels, and thanks for watching, bye bye.